Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today is a little bit of a different video. I'm actually going to be doing my very first story time video. About a month or so ago, I did like a get ready with me Q&A. And one of the questions that I got was, what is one of the worst things that has ever happened to me, you know, being a hairdresser? And I just said that I had a story that was a bit too long for that video. And it was traumatizing for me. And a lot of you guys were were very keen on hearing the story and here we are. So I know this is just a little bit different to my usual content but if you are someone that enjoys story time videos or if you just enjoyed this video in general go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and also while you're at it go ahead and tap the bell notification right next door to it and you'll be notified every single time that I upload a video. Woo! Okay guys like we we are getting into this make sure that you've grabbed a snack make sure that you've grabbed either a glass of wine or coffee i won't judge so i was at work one day and out of nowhere this lady just walks into the salon and i wasn't at the front desk i was not at the reception area when this happened i was just in my own little bubble in my own little world and this lady just walked in and she asked the receptionist like hey can i come and get my hair done and the receptionist was like yeah sure come on come right in and as the receptionist is bringing the client through she tells me the client's name and she tells me that she just wanted a cut and a blow dry the lady then sits down in my chair i have a consultation with her ask her how she wants to cut her hair and as i ask her how she wants to cut her hair she then corrects me and tells me oh no she wants a color as well so i'm like okay no problem i i have the whole day it wasn't a busy day in the salon this woman then takes out her cell phone and shows me a photograph and she literally says, make me look like this. I should probably add that she was foreign. Like, I'm not going to say where she was from, but let's just, let's just say she was a Russian lady, but she was foreign, okay? So usually when a client says to a hairstylist, make me look like this when showing a photograph, it's a little bit of like a joke within hairdresser communities because... Is that a thing? Hairdresser communities? I don't know. But it's a little bit of an inside joke for us because you can never make someone look like the photograph. So we look at some colors. I show her the colors. She is all happy. I go and I put the color on her hair. And while I'm putting the color on her hair, I speak to her about doing a treatment in her hair. I spoke about prices. I spoke about the differences in the different treatments. She chose the most expensive treatment that we have. I just need to add in as well, the salon that I work for carries really prestigious high-end brands. Like we are a L'Oreal salon. My boss owns six hair salons. Five of them are in the city that I live in and there's one in one other city. So my boss is actually quite a big name and a big brand in Durban where I live. So this lady chooses the most expensive hair treatment. I explained to her what it was all about, how much the treatment cost and she was like, it's all good. I'll take this one. So I let her sit there with the color and the colors processing on her hair and five minutes before the color is due to come out, I approach her and I just let her know, hey, there's five more minutes. The color's going to get rinsed out. I just want to confirm we are having that treatment done, right? And again, she confirms with me that she wants to do this treatment. So I go back to the client, I have her treatment, I have the correct shampoos and masks and conditioners and all that good stuff that's gonna go with this treatment. And she literally says to me, hmm, you know what? I don't think I'll be doing this treatment anymore. I was like, uh, sorry, sorry, what? Now this treatment was like over 500 rand, which is, which is a lot of money. And the thing is that I've mixed this up and if this woman does not do this treatment, I'm going to have to pay for it. I then speak to her like that I've already mixed this up. I can't unmix the treatment and it's just unfortunate, but we are going to have to do this treatment. She got very upset because she did not want to do this treatment at all. And she was just like, why must I pay for something that's not on my hair? But yet we spoke twice about doing this treatment and I literally confirmed one second before mixing up this treatment and she was still like 
No. And the thing is, throughout this whole situation, there were always like little red flags that popped up, but I chose to always look past it. Like, have you ever been in that situation where it's like a car crash before your eyes, but you're like, it's, it's gonna get better. And it doesn't, and it doesn't. So I just thought to myself, okay, let's just forget about the treatment or whatever. Then this lady said something that has stuck with me she told me that the reason why she didn't want to do this treatment anymore is because it was too expensive but 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 i told you how much it was gonna be like twice i told you twice what what she even said that 300 rand was too expensive to do her hair okay but hold up lady this treatment was over 500 rand which i confirmed with you twice you knew how much this was going to be second of all the color cut and blow dry was going to come to over a thousand rand like 300 rand is too much of money like what like a am i hearing this correctly so again i chose to just ignore that little comment which has now stuck with me for a very very long time like why did that not raise red flags at the time i don't know it was now time to cut and blow dry her hair and this is probably where i should have just said get the hell out of my chair so i then sectioned her hair getting ready to cut her hair i asked her to see the photograph that she first showed me you know just to freshen up the image in my mind and also to show her was she happy with this was she happy with that so she shows me the picture and it is quite a short hairstyle it's one of those like really short bobs but messy and textured it was one of those hairstyles so i go and i trim the hair like how it is in the picture she then tells me i want it short and i'm like okay so she wants it just a little bit shorter than what it is in the picture so i go and i trim it a little bit more shorter than what i initially did she then starts to get a little bit frustrated and she's like i want it short and she literally puts her hand over here and the fingers are like right to her scalp like a men's haircut so I told her, like, listen, that is a lot shorter, not just a little bit, like, significantly shorter than the photograph that you are showing me. She was cool with it. So I just cut her hair how she wanted it. We then get to the sides of her hair over here, like, where the ear is. And the photo was a bob, like, the hair was on the ears and everything. And I asked her, do you like how the hair comes over the ear? Because some women do like that and some women want it a little bit longer in the front, but they want it off the ears. And she tells me that, no, she wants the hair off the ear. So let, let's just get this straight. Already, we've gone shorter in the back than what it is in the photograph. And we've now gone off the ears instead of over the ears. Like, this is literally not even looking like the photograph anymore. I cut it exactly how she wants it. And then we get to the top of her hair. And she tells me that she likes to wear her hair, like, in a side path. But in the photograph that she showed me, it was a very textured, messy style. There was literally no path over there. So I explained to her listen this is not going to look like how the picture looks anymore because now it's a whole completely different style the back is shorter the ears are showing and she's like okay that's cool so i cut it in that side path like how she wanted and then we get to the fringe of her hair the fringe is what probably kills me the most she tells me she wants her fringe short long short long I repeated this to her. So you want it short, long, short, long, like triangles. And she says yes. She wants freaking triangles for a fringe. I thought maybe she was a little bit lost in translation. Like maybe she means she wants like a jagged feathered fringe. So I showed her photographs on my phone. Like, is this what you mean? She's like, no, I literally want a short piece, a long piece, a short piece, a long piece. I, I can't even I can't even so I cut the fringe the way that she wants it I now start to dry off the hair I'm blow drying the hair she is happy as Larry I'm asking her you know how's it looking are you happy with how it's looking so far she's in love she loves the damn thing it's not even what the hell she showed me in the photograph but she loves it and I'm like okay as long as this client's happy as long as I get my dinero at the end of the day like that's okay it's all about the client make the client happy as 
I start finishing off the blow dryer, she starts to become a little bit quiet. And as I finished ironing the fringe, she goes dead ass quiet. And now I'm thinking like, what, what's wrong with this lady? Why isn't she talking to me? She's then telling me that she wants it shorter on the ear. And I'm like, lady, it's short already. I can't go shorter on the ear. Maybe she's like thinking about the bulk. Like maybe it's too heavy heavy out over here so i explained to her again i can't make it shorter because then literally it's going to be a freaking bald patch around your ear so i then take the thinning scissors to thin out that hair and next minute she's having a freaking hissy fit she's like getting all agitated she's wanting to take the cape off of her i'm like lady what is going on like what is happening calm down Usa. she's then freaking out because she's complaining about her hair i don't know what she was saying there's a little bit of her foreign language going on but i was just like so confused because one minute she was happy next minute she's freaking out i don't know what to do anymore she then tells me look at my fringe why is there a short piece here and a long piece here and a short piece here this woman's crazy this woman is crazy she doesn't want any hairspray she doesn't want to see the back of her hair she don't want no products on her hair and i just say to her listen i can see that you're unhappy right now why don't you tell me what you don't like about your hair because i can fix it and she doesn't want to hear anything like she does not want to hear anything she gets up she's like trying to take the cutting cape off of her and i'm like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what's going on over here i then say to her listen would you like the manager to come over do you want the manager of the shop to come over i'm just trying to keep as calm as possible i don't want to cause a panic in the salon there's customers there they're spending a lot of money they 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 don't need to see this shit okay they really don't at this point i can feel the blood rushing up to my face i'm actually feeling really hot right now just thinking Thinking about it <laughs> she then goes to the front desk she literally like storms off she didn't even let me like set her hair with any like products or anything she just she just want to go okay i'm thinking oh my god what the hell did i do wrong because i li literally literally everything that she asked me to do i did it i did everything that she asked me to do think think about that she gets to the front desk and I'm like, okay, what what do I actually do? Because I was on the verge of tears, guys. Like, I ended up not charging her, so I had to pay for this thing, okay? She then takes her cell phone out, shows the receptionist the photograph that she showed me and proceeds to say, this is what I wanted and walked out of the salon. I literally broke down in tears. I was just like, oh my god, what is going on? I was traumatized because I literally did everything that she asked for. I told her it was not going to look like the picture. She was literally telling me to do the exact opposite of what that photograph was. And, and at the end of it all, she pulls out her phone and says that. She said that. <gasps> I'm so happy that I can actually laugh about the situation now because for real, I was crying, okay? I was so upset. It was like very, very scarring for me and traumatizing for me. So I'm very happy that I can laugh about it now. Like, I'm not kidding. For like a month after that situation, I was so scared to walk out of that salon and go to the supermarket that's inside the mall or to just like walk around because I was so scared that this lady was just going to like pop out of nowhere and come after me. <laughs> and there we go, guys. That is the story of the worst, the worst hairline that I have ever done in my hairdressing career. So what do you guys think of that story? Like, what would you have done in that situation? Like, what? What do you think leave your thoughts down in that comment section below send me words of love i need it after this after revisiting all that experience <laughs> But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching and listening to my traumatic past with this client. But anyway, until next time, bye. 